Hello everyone, hi, this is Cross the Boss out here and um, I'm hanging out with Red TV. Keep it locked. Huh, grow up with. Okay, honestly, when I was younger, December village, I remember my father is a traditional man, so every December like this, we would just load up all the vehicles on more. I remember I was straight. Um, so that was when I was younger. After he passed away, and based on the circumstances he did, I did not really go back often back to Anebra. So my tradition became England. I became more of like um, a white person. So December. So during my holiday in England, it was more or less like, um, yeah, I never came back for holiday. So I spent it every time in Essex. So it was more or less like my cousins and my friends. We party, we go snow, you know, party. And yeah, it was more or less like, you know, just jamming. With, uh, you know, with the lads every time in England. Then coming back to Nigeria, huh, for the past seven, for the past seven years, I've been back here in Nigeria. But my Christmas for the past five years has been Lagos. So I do early. So my dirty December. People started doing dirty December last year, last two years, last three years. No, my dirty December I've started like five, six years ago. So my death in December started like 2015. Yeah, more or less like, so the beginning of December. So from 1st December to like 12th to 15th December or 17th December, I spend it in this, I spend it in um, Abuja. The turn up, turn up, turn up, party, party, party. Then from 17th to 27th, 28th, we give them Legos. That's if we don't have wedding in Nana Brown, that's 26, 27. But then from there, when I give them Manambra or Imo, because I have a lot of friends that like to turn up in Manambra, especially wedding as well. So from that 27, 28, 29, December 30th, first, second, then back to Lagos, then back to um, Abuja. So that has, that's, uh, that's have been my, you know, December for the past, I don't know, 25 years that I can remember. I think it has to be cash, yo. I think I've gotten, you know, a Christmas gift. Someone gave me, someone gave me, is it a millionaire? Cash, cash. And also 500,000 naira cash. Um, what else? I think, uh, not to sound provocative or anything, but there's a, there's a one of my friends as well that, this was years ago though, that uh, she was, we were dating and we haven't seen in almost two years. And she came back and, um, her was my Christmas present. So yeah, this was like time ago. Because we was in England, yeah, we were in England together, but I haven't seen them yet. So coming back, that was also one of the best pre Christmas presents I've gotten as well. So because she surprised me, she didn't tell me she was coming, she just showed up on my door and said, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so that was also one of the big surprises of my Christmas I've ever gotten here. Huh. Honestly, I don't think there's a specific food I'll eat on the Christmas day. I think whatever, I'm not a selective person. Whatever is available on that day, I'll go chow. <laughs> I know you'll send, I'll go chow anything. Pizza, burger, rice, yeah, whatever, I'll eat it. Both, I think both. I, honestly, I don't limit myself in doing one particular thing on Christmas day. I think I do everything, uh, yeah. Huh, having people's thoughts, hearing people's thoughts. Yeah, I would love to hear everyone's thoughts on that day. Especially, is it only on that day or every throughout the whole Christmas period? Throughout the Christmas period. Uh, yes, yes. I would love to hear people's thoughts, hear people's minds, you know, going to their minds and understand what exactly they're thinking at that particular time or minute or hour throughout the whole festive period. Yeah, that would be a Christmas gift. I would love that. Superman or Thor, because especially this Christmas, right? Um, I think it's done on me that um, we are fully engaged. So I would love to have all the energy and all the ability to locate myself from one you know, place to another. Because for the past one month, I think I've been on the plane at least nothing less than, I think almost 20 times. Yeah, almost 20 times, if not more in the past one month or so. So if I could have any superpower, it would be 
can I transport myself from point A to point B like this? And secondly, have energy and strength to be able to move, you know, with the same pace because I, I, people think um, I'm, I'm crossy, right? And they think I have a lot of energy, which I do, but sometimes, you know, our body kind of, you know, comes down a little bit, you know. So I just want to make sure that I, I give my fans you know, the same thing I always do. So I will be in Lagos, I will perform or do something. I go to Abia, I might not perform the same thing. It's unfair to the people in Abia. So I would love to give everyone, you know, a bit of me, which is that same energy. So I would love to have energy. So yeah, that's it. Hi, it's Choku. Wait, because I have so many different categories. <laughs> this one, Choku. <laughs> because I have too many categories for guys so i want to understand because me i'm a very very sharp guy i want people that will come and bring money too <laughs> not people that will go <laughs> that it will not be like alpha and donate not donate donate <laughs> those ones are good i love it so i want to know particularly this particular trip you're asking about am i the one planning it oh boy i say it's five you don't go work now <laughs> <laughs> I need at least 15. Okay, you want Now you are talking. So first of all, I'll go with one of my emotionless friends, my cousin, Cheta. Definitely, I'll go with him because he's like we know almost every time. And I'll go with my other cousin, Ugo. Yambota, Ajebota, crazy guy. Happy boy, Yele. Chips, Uzo, ah, Uzo of Lagos. I like guys that want to come and make sure that they are ready to have a good time. Fouls, yes, Fouls too, Fouls too. Yeah, and KUB, Dozi Woki K, yes, Dozi Woki K, Enrich, hmm, who else again would love to? Namdi, yes, Namdi, like. So I call guys that are ready to travel, are ready to have a good time. So Namdi, yes, because I was just in Dubai and Namdi even flew from London to meet me at Dubai. So Namdi as well. Just guys that are ready. Frank, yes. People that are ready to travel. Pe preppy, yeah, I'm even wearing his out shoes, yeah, preppy. So people that I know that when you say cross, how far are you ready to travel now, now, now? They are ready, 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 ready to travel. So these are guys. Pokoli, yeah. So guys. They are ready to travel. So these are the guys I'll definitely take. And I know that them, they won't have wala. Because, you know, some guys, well, sometimes when you bring a, a, a group of guys together, and once um, alcohol or, you know, is going on, sometimes ego comes out and you hear a little bit of misunderstanding and fighting. So luckily for me, I don't think I have friends like that. All my friends, whenever they are even like drunk or whatever, they still maintain level-headed. You can never see them fighting or, you know, getting aggressive with each other. It's purely vibe and love, all true. And that's something I really, really cherish a lot because you can't really say that about, you know, some other group of friends. So yeah, definitely. Hello, guys. Um, as you can see, these people want to run me heavy street, but they will not. They shall not because we're about to play a game. And um, you know me, I'm the game master. Uh, but you know, sometimes the few run you street. So, so I'm going to play. So I think what they want me to do is spin this thing, right? And once I spin it, <laughs> wherever I land, I need to do whatever it says. So guys, fingers crossed. Just what I did there. Cross, fingers crossed. Mm. Think about it, think about it. Are you ready? Let's go. Chimo, Chimo, Chimo. Flip cup. What does that mean? What cup are we flipping? I'm confused. I'm right, right? Flip cup. Okay. Um, give me a cup, I'll flip it. Give me a cup, let me flip it. Uh, yeah. Thank God. I like this kind of DS. Uh, yeah. okay. So this is a cup. You gotta flip it. Okay. That's all right. No, it's flipping though. <laughs> Can't you see? It has to oh, it has to last. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, one. Hi, two. Last time. This is the third time. Third
total, total. ¡Ah! ¡Puta! Ah, oh, Bamana. Ah, this is evil. Oh, bro. Oh, shit. All right, we get in again. All right. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> what does he say? <laughs> what does he say? Straight face. Right? I tried it, I had to... Oh. oh boy. This is the final one, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Oh boy. So it's in the middle of never ever ever had or oh, guessed man. the lyrics. I'll let you choose. Which one? If you can give me some way, I don't know now. No, no, no. I think I go with never ever have. Nice. So I'm going to ask you two questions. If you've done it, great. If you haven't done it, okay. Question number one. Okay. Never have I ever gotten a hit. So if I have, I won't drink. Mm -hmm. I, I, nah, that's not fair now. <laughs> That's not fair, you're giving me something that you know that definitely has happened. That's you're running me street. Bam, bam, bam. You two, everybody has gotten a hickey here. Yeah. Come on. Come on, get out. What do you mean you're not getting a hickey? Why are you lying for us here? Yeah? Eh? You need to top off. See the devil. See the devil himself. No, nice too. He only drinks too. He's so easy. Look at him. He already knows when he's empty. That's what they do in London. I see them. Bartenders. Bartenders. Get people drunk. Go on, get out. <laughs> Can you smile? <laughs> Is that your mission in this life to make me drunk? I'm very happy here in Akoga. Stop it. Hey, hey, young woman, please. Oh, yeah, now, please, wait, 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 no. Okay, no. Let's do something that is hard. Everybody has gotten a hickey here. Okay, okay, let me give you a hard one. Yeah. Let me give you a hard one. Never have I ever had a burner account on social media. Ah, so if I have, I will drink. Yeah. If I have not, drink cold. Never have I had, never have I ever said the word, hey, or hey, bah, let me see, like, ah, I have, oh, hey, ah, everybody has, now, come on, now, bah, try, oh, this one is too much, this one is too much, ah, boy, damn, hi, okay, Okay. Never have I ever faked an emergency ever with you. Hi, Jesus is Lord. God damn it. The smallest one. Fake an emergency to get people with it. Every boy has done that. And every girl has done that. Eh? What did he say? He's cross. I can't imagine what he said. He's what he said. <laughs> 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 you want to put me in trouble? No, no, no. <laughs> so the person will not hear. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Let's leave it for story or two. Hey, nice one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Red TV, I don't try. You have done me well. All right, well, I definitely wish everyone, but minus him, a Merry Christmas. He, I don't wish him a Merry Christmas because he's very evil. 
he has poisoned me with so much alcohol. But yeah, honestly, I just want to say I had a good time, guys. It's been a, an honor to be here. Red TV, you guys rock. I've always, you know, seen one or two clips of you guys, and it's an honor to be here. It's so funny, like um, earlier this year, I would never in my mind imagine be, being me being here, and towards the ending of the year, I'm here. And funny enough, I was just even discussing this with my cousin yesterday because we came out of my room. We were discussing with butter, so I just came out of the room and I just got a text. A text was from somebody, somebody's manager, and I'm like. I looked at it, I read it, so, 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 person manager, how you cross, uh, and I'm like, I looked, I laughed, and I was like, isn't this life so funny? Just a few months ago, I am 100% sure I would never in my life get such a text, but now I'm getting a text like that. So it shows that this life, you can never, never say never, and it's, it's really, really, like, interesting that to see how things can unfold in the space of a month. So that's a very, very funny story because I swear I never in my mind would have seen such a text. So all I can say is like, I give it up to God and I give it up to Big Brother and I give it to all the fans. You guys have decided to like, like me for who I am. I don't know why, but I guess we are in this already. So I guess we just gotta keep going. So thank you, Red TV. This is an honor. I really, really appreciate it. Keep giving us the heat, keep giving us the vibe. Gay, gay, you already know what time it is. Into the blood. You always in the blood. You can never take it away from us. You dig it. You choke. Literally. So, gay, gay. Thank you, guys. And Merry Christmas to everybody. It's a season of love. Remember, you don't know what people are going through. You can be going through a lot. So, try as much as possible to help your friends, help your neighbors. 10,000 there, 20,000 there, 50,000 there, 100,000 there. Even 1,000 there will go a long way to your gate man, to your house help, to your driver, you know, to, to everyone around you. Please be love to them because they really, really need it, especially that the world is going through a lot of crisis right now. So, just try as much as possible to be, you know, love to your family and to your friends because um, it's a season of love. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Cross Nation. Merry Christmas, Red TV. Love you. Remember, God is love and love is God. Gay, gay.